Welcome everybody, it's game day four of Eurobasket 2022 here in Milan in Italy and Estonia and Great Britain will face off the basement game in this group, neither team having had a victory, although Estonia have come close on the last two games. Great Britain have got progressively better. So the opening day, the opening game of this uh, fourth day of games here in Milan should be a tough one and a crucial one. Great Britain lose, they're definitely going home. And uh, Estonia, the same. So here's the schedule, Estonia, and Great Britain, followed by Greece and the Ukraine, currently both teams unbeaten, and then a crucial game for the hosts as they face Croatia in the nightcap game. Here's the table with Ukraine and Greece sitting there three and zero. Croatia in that third place and looking good for third place. Italy's problems could really mount if they don't get the win this evening. With me, Azania Stewart, the Great Britain and London Lion Centre. We've loved Estonia, Azania. They are probably the best fun team to watch in this competition. I definitely have to agree with you. Young and up and coming. And what's fantastic about today, one of these teams finally get their first win. Both have been, uh, Estonia has been, uh, you know, out of luck. Great Britain has been getting better and better every uh, game. And then for me, uh, Nelson, 17 points. He has been the solid line for Great Britain. He has done very, very well as he comes out of the huddle. Uh, I don't think Obi Soko is going to play today, so that's a missing piece for Great Britain. And then somebody else needs to step up in those missing uh, minutes from him. Well, that's a big loss for uh, for the Great Britain team. The thing, though, you're know, looking at looking at those stats that we looked at every day. They're, the, they're, the, they're literally the second worst team in the competition across Eurobasket in terms of turnovers, and Estonia is one of the best teams in putting points off turnovers. Equation pretty clear for me. If Great Britain don't look after the basketball, they're they're on the plane home, and they have to go through a game against Italy tomorrow, uh, the last day of competition, when it's a little bit after the party. Here's Estonia though, with their fans have been one of the most uh, refreshing parts of our time here in Milan. They have been unbelievably good, but also unbelievably unfortunate. Yes, yeah, so unfortunate for them, but they have come out in their numbers, packing the arena. Uh, Estonia lost another heartbreaker against Croatia, 73 to 70. They also lost by one to the Ukraine, 73, 74. They are just right there and they just can't get over the finish line. So hopefully they can get a win today. For me, my favorite player of this whole entire tournament, Coxar, 17 points, five rebounds, three assists, three steals and two big blocks. Man, he works very, very hard for this Estonian team. Well, a happy team is always a successful team and they have a great chemistry, it would appear. We'll talk about that more after the lights come up and the two national anthems are played for, first of all, for Great Britain and then followed by Estonia.
by the Estonian fans, making this feel like a uh, home game in Tallinn. A lot, lot of atmosphere, flags are out again. They've been tremendous, those fans. Yeah, they definitely, uh, all of Tallinn, I think, is here, the capital of Estonia. They've been here every game on time uh, with their drums, their beers, and uh, nice accessories, haven't we seen? Some nice uh, hats and that. Absolutely, those uh, those basketball hats, I think uh, there's a chance to make uh, a line of those. Right. <laughs> Here we go then, both teams coming out for the last uh, three and a half minutes of warm up. Here's the third team on the floor, the three officials, plus what it's all about in front of them, the Eurobasket trophy. There's some uh, famous, famous, well, countries on there that were included some of the biggest names of world and European basketball. Both coaches looking for that, des desperately looking for that first win. Going to get a look at the starting lineup for Great Britain. Nelson's been great. And the answer to the uh, absence of Obi Soko is Great Britain go back to the three guards. And that's understandable given who they're playing. Yeah, totally. Because uh, Estonia are quick and fast. No uh, Dan Clark in the lineup. He did start. Uh, yesterday with 11 points in 16 minutes, but for me, the engine for Great Britain is this man right here, Luke Nelson, averaging 14 points and 48% at the three. He dropped 17 points last night, uh, so he's definitely going to come out ready to play. Well, Nate Ryan King went through the mill as uh one of the players for Great Britain as they got ready for 2012, now head coaching, so he knows all about this. Here's the starting lineup for Estonia, and it's uh, Henrik Drell starts, and they go with uh, quite a quick lineup, one to four. Very quick. Drell, 5.7 rebounds, but like I said, Coxar, but also Kulame, 14 points, has played very, very well. And then you've got Vene, who's also had 18 points last night. So they've got a full. Uh, lineup in their starting five very dangerous you've got to stop all five definitely here uh, and then you've got the youngster coming off the bench it's amazing I really love this team as you see coach oh, coach has done an amazing job Tayola and uh, he stayed quite like yeah. uh, you know what I mean he hasn't got too up too down he keeps his team in, in a really nice um, I would say, what's the word I'm looking for here? Look at my hand. I'm an Italian. <laughs> what is this? We'll go on to that, but here's the three officials, Mr. Vojnovic, Mr. Uh, Rustic and Mr. Jacobs, two Montenegrins and a Belgian. I think the word you're looking for is uh, he's, there's no highs, there's no two highs, yeah. no two lows. He yeah. keeps a, a flat line, quite calm, yes. keeps his team relaxed. And uh, he has to do that, doesn't he? Because they're so emotional. Yeah. But the thing is, when I think there's been too much emotion at times off the bench, out of control emotion from some coaches at times, he has conducted himself intensely in timeouts, you can see it, but respectfully the whole way through. He's a real role model as a coach. And uh, Nate Ryan possibly, maybe, needs a little bit more emotion at times, but uh, he and Great Britain will believe they can get their first win. Estonia and Great Britain need a win or they're going home. So. Everything on the line. Absolutely everything on the line. As we said just briefly, Great Britain's problem, 29 turnovers against Greece. Greece ran in 25 points off those 29 turnovers. You're not making life easier for yourself if you take, don't take care of the basketball and probably against the team that's going to make you pay for sloppiness more than any other thing. So in my opinion, it's if you don't work hard, they're going to beat you, and if you turn the ball over, Estonia are going to get the win. Yeah, but what I have been enjoying about Great Britain, uh, they're finally coming into themselves. Each player is doing what they do best, and, uh, and I hope uh, Ben Mockford today looks for his shot more often as he's in the starting lineup. Well, coach has got faith in him. He's got to have faith in himself. Here we go then, wherever you're joining us from around Europe and the world. Estonia in the white, Great Britain in the blue. The basement game in the group. Any future participation in Eurobasket will only be there for the winner after the end of this game. Coach that outside, looks inside to Vene. And if uh, Great Britain don't do a better job on guarding that cut, they are going to get hurt because Vene caught the ball really deep. Miles Hessen went to sleep on the weak side. Here comes Carl Wietel. 
Mark put out top. Nelson will swing the baseline. Olaseni looks the screen, but they don't get the angle right. But Olaseni, mid-range jump up. Bread and butter time for Gabe Olaseni. Nice, and he needs to keep looking for that. That 15-footer for him is a good look, and he gets it often. Nice rhythm for Great Britain. Here come Estonia. Spacing good. Drell can't get it to go. And it's almost like the pace is a little slower. And yep. Estonia aren't really generating their own pace. Weedle goes down the middle, almost mishandled, but does turn it over. Here come Estonia. Three on one. Behind the back. And the soft throw down by Henry Drell. And Estonia wanted the foul. Probably quite rightly. And there's the problem for Great Britain. Turnovers start and initiate the break for Estonia. Nelson from the three-point line is off and way off. And here comes uh, Griesa, one of the stars of the show, gives it up. And Coach Still, again, could be another foul. Uh, and, yeah. and we spoke about how quick and intense Estonia are and how hard they work. Has some nice little given, well, go, go pass. Gave it up two passes, he sliced down the lane. And I do think Great Britain could, uh, to an extent, bully uh, Estonia here. Estonia are going to make Great Britain try and be a bit quicker than they want to. Bully. Bene going up for the left hand. Sweet little move. Beautiful little hook move. Bully who, Mark? No, I, on spots one to five, Nelson can bully. They're a little bit stronger, perhaps. Estonia are a little quicker. And, it, it's, and, I, and uh, Hessen just gets another turnover. I don't know if that's true. I'm going to disagree with you there because Estonia have held their own against big boys, against Ukraine, uh, the Croatian. They're not afraid of the task. No, they're not afraid of, the, of the, the task, but it's a different type of bullying that I'm referring to. Okay. It's, not, it's, not, it's not big boys. It's just a little bit, uh, let's call it a little streety, shall All right. we say. All right. Well, the Estonian fans are shouting Este. They're ready for them. Kotsa out. out top, puts it on the floor. Olaseni plays good defense, but Kotsa, I love with it. that little push shot, gets his feet set and strokes it. 8-4 start for Estonia. Kotsa has so much in his bag. Mockford will come off the Olaseni screen, gets his feet set, looks at the long two, which is off. And here come Estonia again, and their transition is just a different level to the, the British at the moment. Kulame inside, Drell just picks it up, soft hands, gets the two. And Henry Drell is just outworking Great Britain on his own. And again, another situation, Estonia get a quick 10, Great Britain sit there, do not call the timeout. Hessen on the inside, can't handle the pass. Here come Estonia. Bene is off for three and they've dodged the bullet again, Great Britain. Nelson in transition, nice pass to Olaseni for two and one. That's yes, better. The Estonian bench is not happy at all then. They get a ticky-tack going this way, Great Britain, Estonia, they've, they've missed three down their way. Yep. And uh, that's better for Great Britain. I've been harping on this same, uh, she's stressed out, that's been me all week about Great Britain's transition. I want them to push in transition offense, get something easy, and something always good comes out of uh, when they push early. But they've been really pushing and then bringing it out, slowing the ball down, where they get so much out of uh, transition play. But anyway, they get rewarded with the uh, and one, and that's five points for Olaseni. Olaseni, going to be a handful. Kulame, who's been as consistent as anybody for Estonia. Drell, who's got the bit between his teeth at the start, goes with a tough running hook. Nelson, in transition, is fouled by Kulame, and he stops the break. Brian King has cancelled his timeout. So, he's, he's, should we say his patience has been rewarded a little bit because his team on the floor have resolved the problem for him. I'm not sure that's true, but uh, Yossa checks into the game. And Kulame sits, that rotation that's consistent for Estonia. Nelson. Wito looks inside, 
on the dribble, lines up Hessen. He's fouled, and that'll be the third team foul for Estonia. They're, are, they're gonna call it on the floor. On the floor. Let's have a look. Is he in his steps when that foul happened? No, no yeah, it's on the well, floor. Well, tight, but I think the referee called it, called it very quickly and early, so absolutely correct. Nelson, he does need to take the ball a bit. He may have to do a little bit more with the ball than he would like to. That's offensive. Are they going to call a hold? No, they're going to call a hold. And Drell doesn't like it. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's yeah. the look arm. Not doing Care Bears and hugging Drell. That's a foul. So Estonia with 6-10 to go in the first in the penalty. Great Britain needs to get open, Bed Mockford. Hessen puts it on the floor, goes left, stops, takes a tough one, gets nah. it to go. Stopped on the money. Hessen averages 13.7. He's only shooting 34% though, so a bit of volume shooting. Oh, Weedle got lost, and Yosa misses the open three. And Kotsar does enough. Keep the ball alive, takes it off of Hessen. And that's one person who is going to work every single possession. Kopsa, there he is, all over the ball. And he works so well and so hard for his Estonian team. Miles Hessen, a little bit slow on the box out. And if you give Kopsa a step, he's going to get Kiosa in the lane, drops it down to Bene. Takes the mid-range, two is good. Lovely little 15-footer. Uh, yeah. Some Sandavene. He's having a good tournament, isn't he, as well? Probably the biggest name in recent years on that Estonian team. Oleseni on the inside, goes back, gets a little set, elbow jump shot, is good. Nice. A lot of control, gave Oleseni with a good decision. And that 15 footer is there for most of them, really. Yep. A little the pick and pop or a little uh, cut in there. Here's Kersa, they want to try and keep him down there. Kotsar wants him to come off the screen, they turn that down. As he goes inside, wide open, Yosa for three. Beautiful movement. Had the, had the side of the one before, knocked yep. it down. Yeah, and coach claps for that one. Don't blame you. It's really about how much and how well Great Britain play one-on-one -on -one defensively. Markford in the corner has to make it because Olesini was wide open underneath. Kiesa will push it. Gets the ball screen in transition. Bene, catch, release is short. Wheatle with numbers down the floor for Great Britain. Four on three, just find the open man. Wheatle outside, puts it on the floor, goes left in the lane, off the glass. Throws nothing, it's nothing. And that's the issue for Carl Wheatle, not confident on the three-point line. No. But uh, he's confident in his drive here. This was lovely ball movement and a nice rotation on the ball. Nothing but net. Smash. And more rotations off the Estonia events. Kulamai checks back in for Akira Estonia does a really nice job in rotating their bench because the style that they play, the speed, the intensity, uh, they need fresh bodies every couple of minutes and they keep that rotation Van Oostrom and uh, Whelan check in for Great Britain. Hessen, catch and release for three is long. And Estonia again in transition, always looking to push, but uh, Kulame happy with the circumstances into the half court. Leicester gets it inside. Nice spin, tough finish. Incredible finish there. Good use of his body. Nice footwork. Better finish. High low, great hands. Well, the decision was good. The execution poor. Here's Kulamai and the follow by Katsar because he outworked Hessen again. Timeout, Great Britain. And the word hard work is the difference between the two teams. Yep. And coach says, yep. 
Uh, and that's it. And this is what I was afraid of, is uh, the work rate as Kotsa has been every single day. He comes and he's ready to work. And I think this is the advantage for the Estonian team. And I said this to you before we came on air, they work for 40 minutes. And I haven't seen a team yet in this tournament who doesn't let down. They've just been on the other end of not managing to win. Yeah, absolutely right. Their percentage in this game is probably lower than the last couple of games, but they still lead because they've outworked Great Britain. Here's Nate Ryan King. All right, and then Paul, you're here. I want you to come around, I want you to rip game. All right, so when it's a BHO with your miles, just keep it. And we're looking right down here for game. All right, I'll fish out. Hey, we got to pick it up. I mean, the issue not, is not really offense for Great Britain at all. I mean, they've got pretty decent looks most of the time down the floor. Their issue is down this end, where they're being outworked, and uh, Estonia get points in transition and points on the offensive glass. And uh, as, a, as you've said, their work rate, their level of work rate is second to none in the competition. Drell's had a nice start. Obviously with the balls, but playing G League basketball. Here comes Devon Van Oostrum. Well, there's the play that was drawn up. Olaseni on the inside. Tice is in the game. olaseni has got to bully him and doesn't. Tice just works hard again. He's not Kotsar. He's got to give him time. And he's won the first battle with Olaseni. Kulamai off the ball screen. Gets himself set. Is off. Weedle clears up the mess on the defensive end for Great Britain. Looks to push, but at a pace. Whelan gets his feet set from two nice. and knocks it down. And this could be a game for uh, <laughs> Patrick Whelan. Yeah, because yeah. he's not going to face a lot of length at the three. So, and at that, and if Great Britain go three guards, he's uh, going to have to get stuff at that small forward spot. And he's got instant offense as well. Nice little fake pass. Doesn't get the soft roll. Uh, he had 14 points in 12 minutes versus Croatia, Patrick Whelan. So he's definitely got the offense in him. Manushim down the lane, takes a tough one, gets it to go. Really nice finish. Great Britain close it to four. Still haven't committed a foul, according to the officials, which uh, Coach Toya was uh, having a discussion about. Kulumai drops inside, Tice has it knocked away, Vinay has it. Kulumai puts it on the floor. Better effort, at least they made the dribble. But... Yossa had that one side up, couldn't get that to go. And then since then, he's gone two for two from the three-point line. And that was 2.1 seconds, so he had to put that one up. Vanusham sees the show, moves it on. Hessen rips, goes, gets deep, has it knocked away off his thigh, though. I wish they would see Gabe earlier. They're missing him at his first uh, cut down to the basket. Then uh, when they do finally see him, they turn over the ball. It's too yeah, late. Exactly. Their, their, their first option is to put it on the floor, but right. no, it's not a decision. It's just what they do. Yeah. He's working tremendously hard. Yeah. For that uh, first cut. Nice. Give and go. Just a little bit too much on it. But uh, the idea, the good, the, the decision was perfect because uh, Kulamai had the step, but he just overpassed it. Seven-point game. One twenty-four to go. Van Oostrum. Olesini comes off the block. Van Oostrum doesn't turn, turns down the screen, stops and pops, doesn't get the roll. And is saying, hey, that's a foul, but that was a good screen in my opinion. It's one of those things, and here's, here's a question for you. It's yes. not a bad shot for Devon Van Oostrum, but is that the best shot that Great Britain can get? I, and I think... One of the things that Estonia do very well is don't settle for a good one. They want the better one for someone. Want make sure that it's uh, Yossa getting it. Whelan now wide open, drains it. And there's a great example of it. Wide open, feet set, like a drill. Yeah. Well, I think in that one, his defender fell on the floor. So but then, I, would, I would take it. But you're right. But that becomes a great one, so they can take right. it. OK. Extra pass, great rotation by Wheeling to close that out. Makes the ball on the floor, but where's Van Oostrom going? 
And again, they just outwork. Gunamai doesn't get it to go. And no one puts a body on Leicester. And he just throws it down. And I think Croatia will tell you, Ukraine will tell you, if you don't compete, they're scoring on you. Yep. They do not quit on any possession. Lovely rebound here. Jams it. Nobody on him. And I told you the work rate oh, has absolutely. to be doubled by Great Britain if you want to compete with these Estonian boys. He came from the three-point line to throw that down. So it's not about bigs. It's about everyone in a blue uniform for Great Britain boxing out. Here's Nelson. There's a three-second differential between game and possession. Nelson looks like... They're going to call that offensive. And, and I got to back, you know, completely agree with you. And what happens to Ola Seni then is he gets frustrated yep. and has to try and create others. It's because his teammates are not looking for him when he's open. And he gets called for the offensive foul. And Tice is coming out of that period of time where he steps into the game, winning his matchup on points. Yep. And Tice gets his minutes because Kulame plays tough too. So Estonia don't uh, drop off when they sub in. Kulamei off the glass, doesn't get it off the glass because Great Britain get in the way. Whelan! Good defense by uh, Nelson. Nelson that's, again, yeah. that's the pick up himself as nobody wanted to go over there and pick him up, but fantastic defense. And there you have it, the end of the first quarter. Estonia, 24, Great Britain, 18. Stats-wise, neither team shooting the three with any great consistency, but uh, the rebound numbers at the offensive end are really hurting, and we're going to see that on these best plays because you're bound to see yeah. the Riesta throw down. Dunk, yeah. And, uh, and Drell has also come out uh, very well. He sits on um, six points early, and here was his nice little drive. And for me, Great Britain have got to find simple ways to score. I think uh, if I gave on us any down low and quicker, uh, but their work rate on the defensive end needs to double immediately because Estonia, I told you, have played solid, Mark. And they're finally, they're looking, they're hungry for their first win because they've really deserved oh, yeah. a, a win a long time ago. They lost. Uh, last night to Croatia, 73 to 70. They lose by three. They lose to the Ukraine on the last shot by one. They're right there. And these are the moments that they've been waiting for. They, they're pushing for their first win. Yep. It's not a uh, difficult uh, technical debate that we can have about the difference between the two teams at the moment, the offensive rebounds. And if you want to see the action and replays and the highlights, you want to see plays like rest is dunk. Download the Courtside 1891 app. Take that with you, only being a couple of clicks away from uh, action. So Great Brown, Br Britain bring Clark into the game. Kotsar goes in, is back in. And uh, Van Usum still with the basketball for GB. Nelson off the screens, gets a little stagger, Clark, and reverses it. That's just a blocking foul. Good decision by Hessen to put it on the floor and go on the catch. Question whether he should have gone to the middle, but... Uh, and I think the worrying thing for Kitsing is he banged the back of his head as he went down. Yeah, we'll see it here. Tough drive. Yeah, never yeah. had his feet set. Yeah, and slams his head in the back. Oof. Yeah, that's going to hurt. Someone has to check him out, I think. He may feel he's all right, just uh, even if it's just a quick second look, you know, just to check. Yeah, follow my finger. One of those. Uh, yep. Well, those little checks that I can't see how they can base anything on them, but they do. Six point game. Great Britain on the sideline. And the pass was a little uh, challenging, should we say. Another turnover for Great Britain. A one-on-two pass, which means someone else is wide open. Kidsing, who looks fine at yeah. the moment. 
He's all right. Here, sir, comes off nothing, turns down the ball screen. Drell for three. Drell drills it. And he's feeling himself today on nine quick points in this first half. And he's tough to guard, Mark. He's a lot to handle. Ah, he is when you're six feet away from him. Yeah, well, he's just long and lean. Hessen drains the three on the step back. I mean, the issue is they know Drell's going to catch and shoot it, so you've got to, you've got to close him out. No short closeouts. Pass to the wing. Kitzing in the corner, which is his spot, knocks it down. He's perfectly fine, Mark. Perfectly fine. Might have hit his head, but boy, he can fill it up. Nelson to the ring, needs a pass, finds one, just about got by. Van Oostrom takes the shot, and why? Yeah, not a good shot there. And here come Estonia. Kitzing will hand it off to Drell. The Drell really is putting in a performance. A skip pass. Whelan closes out. Kiesa. Deep on the clock again, down to six. And the ball goes out of bounds. And the official goes to Great Britain. And I think he's right, to be fair. Well, one referee said one way, and the other referee said the other. But You can see why. Uh, yeah. yeah. Whelan got his hand in, but yeah, I think he came, came off. off the arm. Yeah. Only the official will know what he saw. And I think it doesn't matter what we think on that one. They're much closer than us. Kotsar will do what you should do then. Give the rise smile and... Right. I'm not going to moan at you, but I think you're wrong. And that's uh, a rare smile from... Emotion. <laughs> yes, from Kotsar. He's so serious. Nelson. Missed pass. Dang Clark with a three is off. And Essence on the glass. Great work again. And Estonia are the guys moving and getting the deflection. Kiersa in the lane, needs a pass. Just about finds one. Leicester goes inside. Katsa faces up, goes to the middle with that left hand, needs to pass. Kiersa drains the three. They just patiently wait to get the shot they want. And if it's deep on the clock, they're still happy. And they get that ma magic formula. They go inside, then kick it out. And they're wide open from the three. Nice work from Estonia. Nelson off the dribble for three is short. Great Britain off the dribble for three. Estonia off the pass for three. Probably the sum up phrase. Kitsing off the pass, knocks down the three. Time out. And maybe Great Britain look for a sub here. Uh, these guys are tired. They've been on the floor for a quite a long time. And especially when they're going this far, they're getting exactly what they want, where they want it. Time out. Let's talk about it. Great Britain. Left coach hanging there, actually. <laughs> I won't do you like that, Mark. No, no. The thing, uh, we're going to get into the timeout, hopefully. Here we are. We're still on the cheerleaders. Great Britain timeout. These cheerleaders are all the way from Estonia. They travelled as well. Here we go. Timeout. You got the point. You're coming along, all right? And then you twist it up there, all right? Just so we get some movement, all right? Keep going, fellas. Keep going. And we don't have to take early shots, all right? We keep chipping away. Long way to go. Well, I think that's a good point. We don't need to take early shots. But he always talks about offense. Yeah. What, what happens about defense? Defense really wins games, wins championships. And for me, they need to discuss what they're going to do here. Because Estonia, in my opinion, are getting exactly what they want when they want it. Absolutely. And the, the beauty for me for any team is they're looking for the shots they want and Estonia will look for 22 seconds for the shot they want before they'll force one. And they have 10 assists and it's not like someone's making great plays, they're just moving the ball to the open shooter. And Great Britain are short on closeouts as you get the chance to scan that code. Clark releases and Nelson comes off the screen. Clark flares, will hand it off. And Clark has a mismatch down low with Delisa and Kersa. They switch it back now. Olaseni on the inside. Whelan lines up the three, is short. Fifteen point game. It was a better offense for Great Britain, but again, 
Estonia are just not going to get worked out. Yeah. Nelson with a bunny, misses it, gets his own rebound, doesn't get it to drop. And it's amazing how lucky or fortunate you get if you work. Kotsar down the lane, trails hard. Great Britain have matchup issues here. We've only seen yep. and uh, Clark in the game together. They have real matchup issues. But they have it on offense and they're not no, utilizing it. Not at all, no. You're up. And they have matchup issues for size and they're getting outworked on the glass. Chance for Whelan. Goes up under pressure off the glass and blows the layup. If you go there, you have to finish. Yep. Over Scenic. Good job by Carl Wheatall to get an extra possession. Over Scenic on the inside, draws contact. And it takes one big man to give the other big man the ball because they understand the issue. But that was quicker, right? You look in, throw it, could even be better. And he gets out of position, but he's worked so hard down there, uh, Gabe. He does but he's uh, earned a trip to the line. So a um, lot of pressure on the Hessen coming in there. Great Bringo, as probably as big as they can go uh, with this line up on the floor against a team that is really stretching them. So you're just going to have to sacrifice yourself at the defensive end if you're Great Britain. And Estonia will push the ball, stretch the floor, look for long closeouts so they can attack that or with their feet set, shoot the three. Great Britain needed those points badly. Oh, Cena goes two for two. Seven points personal, perfect from the free throw line, 13 point game. And as Coach Ranking said to the Great Britain team, chip away. Matchup's a little easier for Great Britain now. Yeah. Vene's in the game. Kursar on the inside. Clark does a great job at angling him so he didn't have his shot and his teammates rotated. So Great Britain get a defensive stop. Hessen down the lane with a tough one. Gets fouled, will go to the free throw line. Miles Hessen is so strong and quick like that. His first step, and he just barrels his way in. And they make their way to the line. And yeah, again. For the first time, Kotsar didn't uh, get any help from his teammate as he guarded Olesini in the middle open. Hessen goes down the middle, makes the throw. Maybe the option is to go different than Estonia and back the size you have, although Hessen goes one for two from the free throw line. Here comes Kursar, one of the, I think, one of the shining lights at the young end of the spectrum in Eurobasket. Flares off the screen. All of a sudden, he's got to step up and be higher and up to touch. Another good defensive series by Great Britain, and they just contained Estonia, and that'll be the fourth team foul. And again, Estonia in the penalty, and they were in the penalty early in the first quarter, but Great Britain didn't take advantage of it, and they hardly fouled again. That's right, and here we go. Good things happen when you push the ball, and uh, the defense cannot set, and coach isn't happy about it. I wouldn't be either. Well, the bigger lineup appears to be uh, an option for Great Britain. Nelson will take it back. Oh, well, Hosseini gets his feet set, goes inside, drops it down to Clark for two. Beautiful. So Clark goes to Olaseni, get the two. Olaseni goes to Clark, they get the two. And it starts and stops at the defensive end, and Great Britain close it to a 10-point game. But four unanswered points, bang, timeout. Yep. Quick. A nice little cut and movement. And that's where Great Britain needs to get their offensive going. Once somebody uh, drives in, make sure you have a cutter. Dan Clark there does it very, very well. And he had uh, a fair few points. He, he's looking for his offense more instead of passing. Anyway, we're listening to Estonia's timeout. <laughs> Kyllä 
Well, there's Estonia, five turnovers today. On average, they're turning over 12.3. The points from turnovers is the impressive thing. They really do turn their defense into points. Right. But good job for Great Britain to keep chipping away on the defensive end, solid stops, and then also working their way, getting three points uh, at the free throw line. That's always a good way to tick over the scoreboard and stop the clock. So uh, a good look here. They're back within 10. And like Coach Nate said, just chip away at it. Hessen has 10 at the moment, averaging 13.7, four from five from the field. That's uh, where he's been very efficient at that end. So Great Britain extend the defense after the Estonia timeout. And again, GB foulless. I think that means they have one foul on the game so far. Estonia in the penalty. Kotsar holds his spot. All of a sudden he's got a inside out and Nelson got caught. <laughs> Estonia are not a tough scout. Inside, outside, feet set, they shoot the three. Yeah, well you have to be, uh, you have to respect Kotsar, right? He has absolutely been incredible this tournament. Opens up for Nelson and one. Nice finish by Nelson. Good little drive. Oh, I'm, I, I, obviously you have to respect Kutsar, but Nelson's guy's on the other side of the floor and open. He just got got caught watching. Got to, you got to guard these guys one pass away, otherwise it's a drill. And 100%, Gabe Lodosini will need some help if he forces him in a direction. But uh, Josa picks up his third foul. That's a big loss for Estonia because Josa's come in and he has uh, shot the lights out. Nelson can't complete the three-point play. Vene outside. Estonia back into that mode, looking to pass. They get Kutsar really deep. Blocked by Hessen. Came back to the inside. Hessen gets a piece of it. And Weedle blows the layup. Turn their defense into offense really well. Great Britain missed the two. Nice pass, super pass. Incredible. I really, really enjoy this guy. I'm going to have to see where he plays and follow his uh, season because he... First season in Basconia. Oh, thank Play, you very Playing much. EuroLeague. Be interesting to see how he deals with... Uh, he's de he deals with it one-on-one. -on -one. It's uh, He's going to be playing. He's going to have to play the four. Well, where he uh, gives up on the height, he does work so hard and he's so smart. Look at that. Yep. Little slip dive. Wide open. I love it. Good movement here by Estonia. And yes, it just drains the three. And the young star says, I don't care if I'm 21. I'm here to play. They're lighting it up from the three-point line right now. Nelson. We'll take the Olaseni screen. Olaseni dives, but Nelson doesn't give himself a chance to give it in. They're just going to let Nelson try to force one on Kotsar. He nails the tough two. Decent, great little pull-up shot. 14-point game as Chris uh, draws the contact on Weetzel. Yeah, and uh, and he claps because he says, about time a first foul is being called. <laughs> and he's saying, referee, look up at the board. It is five to one foul. Either way, 19 seconds on the shot clock. Estonia has a long time. Whelan checks back in, Clark sit down, and it's just about relentless effort at the defensive end. That's the only way Great Britain will get back in this. 14 down. Estonia are just a tough nut to crack when they have this type of lead. Although they've given up leads in the last two games, here's Kotsar on the floor, will kick it. Eight on the possession. Drell, who's had a great game so far, puts it on the floor, gets steps back for the three. Wow! Incredible move by Drell. That's tough to guard, and he loves it, and he hits his chest. Can Great Britain answer? Weeder will move it to Hessen. Little short roll, long two, knocks it down. They sure can. 
<laughs> right on time. Just over two to go in the half. Katsara outside, great cut by Drell. And then he goes up and he's fouled. Do you know what I love about Estonia's offense? Constant movement. There's a lot of action to guard. They've got cross screens, they've got movements, they've got back doors, they've got on ball. It's a lot for 24 seconds. You have to stay engaged. And uh, they get, and that's why they're getting what they want. It's a lot to guard. And that Great Britain don't, don't decide which they take away either. They just play flat and well, I don't know if they have a game plan for it, but also, don't. even if you have a game plan for it, a lot of action happens in one uh, position. Yeah. yeah, but it's uh, it's one of those uh, scenarios where pick pick what you're going to let them have, because you've got the chance to scout. It's always a short turnaround. Coaching staff have to make those decisions. Ben A again with a beautiful cut, gets his free throw, makes that. 16-point game in Estonia, 48 points in a half. Great Britain only committing two fouls. 3,000 the whole half, and that's not necessarily an indication of how much defense there is, but Estonia just playing at will at the moment. Here's Wheatle. Puts it on the floor, gets up, this time makes the layup. Strong drive by him, ticks it over. Yeah, and good option. Kulamai. Drops it into Kotsa on the short roll. Inside, outside. Leicester for three is off. Weedle comes down with a rebound. Doesn't push. Whelan. Hessen's wide open underneath, but he has to pop out as Whelan gave himself no option to make that pass. Hessen goes with a push for two. Really nice move there. Uh, saw the mismatch with uh, Drell. And GB sticking around now. Kotsa, again, deep catch. Ayesta trying to go to work on Nelson. Goes to the baseline, gets away of a walk, and Olaseni came over and helped and gets a piece, and Great Britain have a chance to potentially get this back to 10, or at least 11. But they blow the two-footer. Olaseni can't gather it in. Drell penetrates, kicks wide open. Vene for three is short. Nelson going the other way, last 40 seconds of the first half. Going baseline, draws help, needs a pass. Came off the feet of the defense. 13 seconds left on the possession. Great Britain on the end line. Nice drive here by uh, Carl. Nobody stops you, go all the way. And he's playing some solid minutes, in my opinion. He's having to play probably out of his position, play the point guard, defend the best player. Olaseni shoots the 15-footer. And uh, they're asking him to do a lot. I feel like he's stepping up to the challenge. Estonia will try and use as much of this uh, 15 seconds they have left on the clock. Shot, uh, shot clock is about uh, two seconds differential. And uh, Delisa. They'll wait to get the, what, the shot they want. Stops, fires up the three, is way off. And that's a shot clock violation, although the clock ran on a little. They lost at least a second on the shot clock violation. The referees are going to try and check how long there is, because the difference between 1.2 and 2.2 is enormous. Sure is. And they can. They're uh, not going to affect the clock, though. Let's have a look. Do we even get a camera look? Yeah, one point. It's four seconds we got left on the clock when the clock was under, under zero. Okay. Just got a glimpse of the ball in the air, and uh, there was about 2.2, 0.3 seconds and there was around three seconds by the time it counted down. The referees have got the technology, go check it. This is the wrong play. The wrong yeah, the there wrong we end. go. Here we are. More, 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 more. Normal. 
There you go. Clock shot runs out, and there's three seconds left on the clock. Come back, please. Come back, please. Slowly, Just slow slowly. it down. Yeah. Let's have a look. Can Here we go. Us, can you can see this. No, no, no. You can see. Three seconds left. Okay. No check. 3.4, 3.3. Four. It's a lot. 2.5. 2.5. We put 2.5. You got your uh, Two spectacles, five. your spec savers on, but uh, clearly they don't. Two but anyway, five. they make the decision, uh, and Great Britain will well, have 2.5 seconds. Twice it's as more long. Than, it's yeah. more than 1.5. But well, yeah. So Great Britain have to make use of that one second. The ball should be on the sideline, not the end line. Don't throw it to Nelson back here. Oh, okay. And he's going to throw a half court shot. It's way off. So we reached the half time. That's been a tremendous performance by Estonia. Both ends of the floor, their work rate, their effort, their ball movement with the ball has been tremendous. That gives them a 49 to 36 half time lead. There's a menu or a recipe for Great Britain to get back in this. It's just whether they're going to play for 20 minutes. Well, it's a 13-point game. It's not too far where you can't keep chipping away at it. The three-point shot for me, uh, for Estonia, they're shooting 43%, and then uh, two for 11 for Great Britain. Rebounding game, Estonia's got that 20 to 17, and the turnovers, eight to six. And Drell came out early and often, didn't he? He did very, very well. And and Miles Hessen with 14 points, leading all scorers. Well, we're going to get a chance in a moment to see the, the best plays, and there's going to be a lot of uh, quality on the floor. But the only difference is a lot of those plays for Estonia are the same. Open shot, short closeout. Yeah, and uh, their fans love it, as they've got their basketball hats on. I'm still waiting for mine. But uh, I think, for me, Estonia has enough. They'll play in the all the 40 minutes, that's 20 minutes that's left. Uh, and I don't know how much tank, how much uh, energy GB has in the tank. Or mentally, how much or they mentally, are going to come out. Yeah. Again, another short closeout. The, the ball's already up. And this is a tough tournament, Mark. This is the fourth game in, what day are we on now? Five, in five days, four games? Four games, five uh, days. So legs start to get heavy. Mental gets heavy, uh, mind, spirit, everything starts to uh, really take a shift if you don't get the momentum. And definitely the Estonian fans are helping the Estonian boys. So halftime will come up, they'll get their drink, their snack, we'll have a cup of tea and uh, talk about the second half, which is an important half for GB to make sure they can chip away and try and get this first win. And for Estonia, who really should maybe have two out of the last yeah, three yeah, yeah. Uh, games. And they're still searching for their first win in front of their fans. And, and I 100% agree with you about, you know, these, that's what Eurobasket tournaments uh, are all about. Estonia have played the same number of games and have had heartbreaking losses. Yeah. But they, they seem to treat uh, every game as a new day. And I know that your fans help you. These fans have been phenomenal. But again, Every time, as we said, there was going to be a lot of highlights where Estonia were getting the shot up before anyone had a hand up. And but I, I've said that. I said there's a lot of uh, movement in their offense. And also, I always call it the magic formula. They go inside yep. to Coxa, and they, he draws a lot of attention and defense, and then he pushes it back out, and you've got a wide open shot. Well, Great Britain and Estonia in the locker room. Get into your locker room, get a break, and we'll see you shortly. Who will you become when the moment arrives and you're carrying the expectations of an entire nation, representing your people and their dreams, the colorful faces in the streets, the screaming fans in the stands? It's time to make your move. All eyes on you, all hope, all heart. Because when you win, you win for all. Zerowski trying to weave his way past Sorkin.
basket gets the score. Well, he seemed like he had a direct line to the basket, kind of went the other way, finishing with the left. Your hit back. Davi Dobatz passes out to the double team. Goodrich takes a dribble. Three point shot again. Back to back three for Marco Goodrich. Back to back assists for Jokic. Oh, wow. Eight points. Make it ten. No, he did ten. The veteran move. Throwing it off the back of Adia on the inbounds. Smith to the corner. Simon is short. Oh, Makovic comes over and dunks it, Mark. Makovic with a big throw down. Didn't stop working. Another steal here. by Great Britain defense. Great hands. Montecchio does so much more than scores. Pissu drops it down. Oh! Blair, what a block! Bill Smith, ball screen, goes upstairs! Drops inside, great play. Oh, oh, throw that down and not no need to do anything but get back on defense. Listen, that boy has made me stand out on my seat twice in a row. Big dunk. Again, forcing the play, there's no need to. Here come the Ukraine, they look long. Oh, what a play! Incredible look up to the rim. And he asked for the ball, put his hand up, he said, hey, throw it, and I'll go get it.
Estonia. Estonia bounced out after just a few minutes in the locker room, looking uh, as though some of them hadn't really even started yet. They were, they were energized, they're ready to play, and th that their energy was the decisive factor between the two teams. Yeah, and we got to see the top players as Mal Hessen sits on 14 points, and Drell was unstoppable, I felt like, really got his uh, self going on the offensive end with uh, 12 points. So if I'm Great Britain in the halftime mark, what would you be saying to the lads? Uh, no short, no short closeouts. Okay. No front cuts. Okay. Make your guy put the ball on the floor, and and I think if uh, when they had the bigger lineup on the floor, yeah. where Clark and Ola Senior were on the floor together, those two, uh, where you could easily say are our, are the slowest players on the floor for Great Britain, forced. Uh, Vene in particular to put it on the floor. They even forced uh, uh, Carissa to put the ball on the floor at a bad angle, so he didn't, couldn't create. Well, if those two can do it, then anyone in a blue shirt can do it. But the trouble is, and you've highlighted it really well, this uh, Estonian team puts you at disadvantage because they move the ball, so you're always having to close out. So you know, if you've got to, you got to up front guard your man and put, make that not get beat or get beat where you want to get beat, and it's... Um, I just can't be more complimentary about Estonia than, than we are. They're just uh, a team that has got this much as a group. The sum of the parts is far greater than the individual talent, although they've got very talented players. But they give it up. As we see, Olusini, Gabe Olusini has uh, seven points, two from four, and two blocks. Well, Miles Hessen has the full team and, and has really ticked it over. And, and I think we would agree, Gabe Olusini hasn't seen the ball enough. Yeah, they don't find him uh, in his successful places around the uh, rim. But this Estonian team for me, their oldest is uh, uh, 31. Uh, Kitson and uh, Dorothy is 31 years old. The rest of them, 21, 23, 22, and they play like it. I, I hate playing young players, Mark, because they run around, they don't stop moving, and they're hard to guard. And that's exactly what the Estonians do. They run a lot of... Uh, movements, actions in their offense and really forcing Great Britain to defend a lot. And I think the uh, the Baltic states and the Scandinavian countries in particular have blocks of players around that age group because they do such a good job at identifying the best players and then putting them into development situations. Henry Drell as a, as a, a, a genie player with, uh, in the, within the ball structure. Yeah, 22. Yeah, and it, it's, you know, Jalisa is at the uh, University of Arizona. Now, before he's 18, and those guys, the, the development programs put them in great shape. Technically, as well, they put them into a great shape mentally. And that, that reflects in how they play well, played here. You know, this is a challenge for the Great Britain team to match that effort. That's not a technical conversation. That is, am I prepared to work as hard as the other guy I'm guarding and as the other team? That's that's a challenge you in, as you're a person, not as a basketball player. Right, and can they answer? Well, we've just got under 30 seconds, so go ahead and scan your Euro basket app. Go ahead and download it. I've got it on my phone to tell me when the games are the highlights and man it has been an excellent Eurobasket across all regions. Well, here we go, Estonia. And you say it and I you know we all, all agree that the third quarter and especially it's not just the beginning, it's the whole third quarter. You've got to get yourself in the game for the start of the fourth. And th this is a challenge for Great Britain. They've not done that in uh, any of their games. It's not been a challenge for Estonia because they've withstood enormous pressure in the third quarter because they've led early in games and teams have you know attacked them. But let's see how they approach this third quarter as they lead this by 13, their biggest half-time lead that they've had. Kotsar straight down the gut of the defense. Kotsar comes up with the right hand, they force him to the correct hand and then that's just work rate on the glass. That's an effort from uh, Dorbeck and Dorbeck haven't played yet. No. Straight in the game, straight on the same page, outworks, gets the offensive rebound, just can't control it. Olseni, Mockford, Nelson, he's Hessen and Whit Wietzel are on the floor for Great Britain. Mockford moves it to Nelson, drops it into Olseni, gets inside, off the glass for two. Just a little bit tough on the shot, took a bit of a blow to the forehead. 
inside pass. Vini goes up, quick release. He makes the two-footer. And you draw that up in transition, get someone at the ring, comes to the block. If they're open, they get a touch. Great job by Vene and Estonia. 15-point game. Hessen lines up the three, is off. And Estonia, uncontested defensive rebound. Little trip as and Drell one. gets the M1. And uh, that's what Drell is good at. Like I said, he's long, he's lean. Once he puts the ball on the floor, we've seen this time and time again. He loves going to this left hand, gets the hit by Ben Mockford and finishes at the rim. So you've done the scout. Oh, I have. I've you know, been here all week. You know, you've done the scout. He wants to go that way, he wants to go left, wants to attack the middle. Mockford lets him go down the middle. And Drell completes the three-point play. Super start to this uh, third quarter for Great for, for Estonia. They lead us by 18. No timeout for Great Britain. 5-0 run at the start. All on the inside. Wheatle, little hesitation, kicks it. Hessen gets to the inside, throws up a heavy-handed uh, right-hand hook. And for me, Estonia, everything that they've wanted these last three possessions, they missed the first with Kotsa, but got exactly what they wanted. And here they go with the three, and they execute and hit the three. That's pretty. Three out of four offensive Estonia have executed to the T. Timeout, Great Britain. Let's talk about it. And the third quarter is very important. We forgot about the third quarter. No, energy, no, didn't no, we? we did. We mentioned it. We mentioned it. Oh, did we? Yep. I, right. I said it's what you say all the time. Okay. I'm eight, glad you listened to me, finally. That's an 8-0 start for Estonia. Wide open three, inside post up, and an offensive rebound. Let's take a listen tonight, Brian King. Start working 55, Dave. All right, just early stuff. Steps, all right, and then roll, then you feel it. Hessen late on the help on the transition two in the block by Vene. Late on the closeout, Vene hits the open three, and it's uh, it's a clinic of how to play a little small ball. It's a clinic of how to move the basketball. Yeah, Estonia by far has been. Uh, if you go ahead and scan for your live stats and more, Estonia have been my favourite team of this tournament. I've really thoroughly enjoyed them. I felt really heartbroken for them as they've lost uh, two games, one by one, and the other one by three and uh, they've just been working so hard, and they've come out every game the exact same intensity and energy. Well, they lead this one by 21, having led by eight, uh, by about seven at the half, 13 at the half, sorry, to get to 21 up. Kesson shakes it, knocks it off his thigh, turns it over. And all the answers for Great Britain are within the Great Britain team. The, the official right on it. And uh, Jamal Anderson now gets his first minutes of the tournament. And he is a defender and he's been put on drill, so hopefully he can slow him down. Cuts up, will open up the baseline for himself, fouled by Ola Saini. Odesani forces into the baseline, looks across, no teammate helps. Kotsar goes to the free throw line. Can I, um, vote for my all-star five now of the tournament. Does that happen at this side or does no. it go? Oh. No, it's just an all-star for the whole tournament. Oh. And... Uh, well, he's mine. <laughs> he's really been outstanding. I always love post-play. Um, the guards have been good. Obviously, we've got the great MVP, Antetokounmpo, on this group. But for me, the work rate, I can't believe it. He just is solid, really, really solid. And I'm a fan. Nelson puts it on the floor. Olaseni has to come off the block to receive it. Nelson hesitates, turns it over, chance to run, and four guys in white shirts go on the floor. Now it's a five-on-four situation. They don't like it, so they're going to pull it out. Dorbeck will move it on. Vene looks inside. Kotsar doesn't get a touch. That's a great flash by uh, Drell. Leans back, 
hits nothing, but Kotsar is the man working harder and faster than anybody else. He gets the offensive rebound, can can't get it to drop. Nelson in transition. Hessen just gets away of a walk. And the crowd are as relentless as the team here. Nelson takes a long three and drains it. And three minutes into the half, second half, Great Britain get their first points. Nelson comes up with a steal. Weedle should get the easy two. Soft flush on the end of the break. And Estonia don't like it. They say, hey, that's enough. And we'll take a timeout. Good little steal here. And throw a head pass to Khan. A nice little flush at the rim. Estonia's turn to take a timeout and talk about it. Good answer back from uh, Great Britain, though. By the 5 0, five zero a little run. Two made baskets, one made one mistake from uh, Estonia. Timeout, Toyota's on it. So Great Britain come out with the same five that went into the timeout. 59-41, the five zero run gets it back under 20. They need more of that if they're going to make this. Uh, they need to get back into this. They'd love to be single digits by the end of the quarter, but as long as it's better than this, they're moving in the right direction. Well, Great Britain, having only had three fouls in the entire first half, have three in the first three and a bit minutes. And Estonia don't have any. Exactly. It's, you know, they, they do say things have a way of it, evening themselves up. Here's Giersap, moves it on. Vene looks to Kotsar. Great pass. He just read the fact that Nelson wasn't looking at the basketball and uh, literally threw it past his shoulders. A super pass. And uh, old school, you got to see ball and man. Weetle into a crowded area with lots of white shirts on it, but the foul is called. Kotsar's going to get the personal because he reached right across. The floor wipers are in. Need a bit more energy, those floor wipers. Yeah, Maybe the seriously. Maybe, can we get that famous one? Can we fly him in? No, he's, he, I think he's unique, so. Yeah, that's come, what I'm saying. He comes very expensive, I assume. It's the 20 seconds of fame moment for the floor wiper. I know. But they're now off, and here come Great Britain. 20 point game with six, 21 to go in the third. Nelson off the stagger, gets his feet set, puts up the three, hits the iron, no good. Cuts out with a defensive rebound, and here they come again. Drell challenges the defense and says no, going to have offensive foul away from the basketball. And uh, there's, the, there's the Kursar moving screen. It's a good call. Never really got his feet set, was always on the move. Substitution for Estonia as uh, Yorsa checks in and uh, Henley Drill checks out. Bit of a cult following within the uh, Estonian fans. They just love the way his energy level is. Two meters six at 22. Clark in for Great Britain in the post, going up against Vene. Lean away for Clark is no good. Kurosar comes off the screen, yep. they're going to call the foul. 
Anderson. Wow. Um, I have to say, I don't understand why that's not an unsportsmanlike foul. It's a ring of ring of roses, is what's it's like, happening. It's like the guy's going to roll and I'm going to hold him. I, I, I haven't seen that coaching manual that says this is how to defend the pick and roll. Well, Anderson is playing very, very hard and maybe a bit too hard and silly, but he has to, right? This is his first minutes and he's been put in the game. And, and for me, it, I can't complain about it. Great Britain in the penalty now. So Estonia, who are a very good free throw shooting team, will be on the line. Krisa is uh, going to come out if he makes the throws as uh, Kulame is lined up on the bench to check in. Or is Dorbeck going to come? Yep. They're uh, six and six from that free throw, 100%. Two for two. Yep. And Kurosawa will step out. Eight points. Two for two from the line. Kurosawa steps down, sits down. Coach is going to have a always, always teaching moment. And Van Ustrom in the game for Great Britain. Nelson will take the hand off. on the clock. Foul on the inside as uh, Olaseni dived and Kotsar was the wrong side. Well, you can see the foul. He had Olas Olaseni's arm wrapped, so none of those fans would have seen that because they don't have the same angle we have. Here's Van Oostrom. Clark recovered, has to go looking for the pass. Vene's in the block with him. Goes to the jump hook, doesn't get the roll. Kulame. Clark takes one for the team, but at this stage, with 5.01 to go, that's going to send Estonia to the line. Yep. For the next five minutes, it will keep going to the line. So for Van Estonia, I'm putting pressure on that room every single time and uh, and get rewarded. So well, Benny goes back to the line. Coach Acutis, Itudis in the gym. Got his game coming up, game day, or uh, second game on the schedule. It'll be interesting to see uh, Great Britain had uh, Estonia in foul trouble. Six minutes and five minutes to go. Didn't get to the line very often. Let's see if Estonia do a better job at exploiting that uh, foul situation. Vene on the free throw lines. Had a nice game so far. Estonia perfect from the line. And in fact, taken three more free throws than, than Great Britain. Wietzel, Clark on the perimeter. Nelson will come to collect, take the hand off. Nelson tries to wrap it, does get it to Olasini. And two Estonians basically took each other out of the game. Yeah. And uh, just got his hands on it. Kotsar, who's by far the most, not the most effective, but just the most outstanding player in many ways that Estonia have, ends up coming off the screen wide open, two feet from the bucket. Olaseni has one option to foul him, and that's it. <laughs> And that's the third foul on uh, Gabe Olaseni, so he will come out of the game. Uh, he's played 22 minutes so far, has nine points. I wouldn't mind seeing maybe a... Uh, would I like to see subbing for Great Cuts, Britain? Uh, can't, uh if there's a, is a area, B. Williams, sorry. area of the game that uh, Kotsa has to improve, it's... Uh, His free throw? Yeah, he's only a 60% free throw shooter. He is going to get fouled a lot. It's a little pushy, but makes a second. Yeah, Big B. Williams, I felt like uh, he's on the bench and he's come in for kind of scrap minutes for Great Britain, but has done really well, in my opinion, and maybe give him a few minutes or... Are you listening to me? Well, we'll see. <laughs> It's not really... Don't uh, ignore me. No, I'm not ignoring you. It's just like, it's 
I'm struggling to rhyme nor reason. Yes. Okay. All right. I no, I, I, no, I think uh, why not is the, is the, what my answer to you. It's like, why not put him in? Clark in the post, takes the jumper. He's short. If he's going to take the jumper, he should take the jumper in rhythm. 0 for 3 for Dan Clark. And Great Britain trail by 23. The start of this third quarter was just Estonia, Estonia, Estonia. And it's now an uphill battle. And uh, Hassan gives up the middle. Estonia exploit it. And Vene. And Vene's had one of those uh, tournaments where, as the, one of the veterans on the team, he's shown great leadership and he's just enjoyed the way the youngsters have really performed. In this game in particular, he really has come to the fore. Yeah. 66 to 43. Yeah, he's had a solid um, solid tournament, but I feel like Estonia in general, everyone's uh, done their job very well, stayed in their lane and uh, been successful. They just haven't shown, uh, managed to get the wins with their uh, work rate, really. It's been sad, disappointing for them, but this is how this tournament goes. It's such a tough tournament. Every game means everything. And uh, with this win, they're still in a chance. Well, the unfortunate thing for them is that they have to beat Greece. They have to beat Greece. And, uh, because they lost to Italy and they lost to Croatia. Croatia. Two teams that are... Above them. Yeah. yeah. So they and would, that's a hard ask, right? Yeah, they would not win a head-to-head -head with those, uh, those, those countries. So why not, though? That's their attitude to everything. Why not? Van Usten, down the lane, stops. Throws it out to Clark from the three-point line, is in and out. And Weedle comes up with the offensive rebound. Goes back to Hessen, he's fouled by Vene. Good work by uh, Carl Weedle. I told you, he's all over the place, giving Great Britain extra possessions here, and then goes right inside. And yep, that's a foul. And good minutes by Nelson and Patrick Whelan will make his way back in as he warms up them knees. Both teams now in the penalty, 326. Clark is the release out of bounds. Van Oostrom, Whelan gets the screen down the lane off the far side of the ring for two. It's an offense off the bench. Put me in the game, coach. I'm uh, ready. And again, the screen was decent. It opened up the middle. We didn't think Whelan took it down the lane. And Weedle, as you say, one of the few Great Britain players with energy on the defensive end, makes the layup, and Great Britain get back-to-back -back baskets for the first time in a long time. And close it to a 21-point game. Still three minutes to go. So you go back-to-back -back baskets, and Kula May just lays it up with a right hand with no one contesting it. And you just got to stop the energy that this Estonian team have. Van Ustrom fires up the three, is off. Hits everything else but the net or the rim. So it's Estonia's ball. And this Estonian crowd who've made the trip are enjoying every single moment of every single game. Looks like they're close to their first win. And they got a little bit closer as Vene just filled it up from deep. And again, allowed to catch and sight and shoot in one action. Great Britain will take the timeout with 2.24 to go in the third. They trail this one 73 to 47 to Estonia. And this is Vene's 18th point, just sets his feet. And uh, he's been really good from outside the arch. And the uh, fans love it. They have a hug. And uh, right now, Great Britain needs more than a hug. They need this time out, talk about it, and we'll listen in. Still send it middle on the, on the ball screen, all right? He's, I'm saying he's going to send everything still on the middle on the ball screen. Other than that, we got to switch one, two, four, all right? Ball, 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 all right? We got to get into the lanes a little bit, and we're going for steals right there. Just come out of here, all right, and just run wheel, all right, wheel dribble, all right, wheel dribble. Coach Atunis 
never stops working. That's why he's the level of coach he is. The Estonians have now generated a Mexican wave in the arena here. Oh, I love that. Can we get in part of that? Way! Just gone past us. No, I, I made it. Get with it, Mark. Might be the first game we've had to they've had to generate their own enjoyment, though. Here comes Weedle. Gets Hessen in the half court. Leaves the ball behind. Wheeling comes to collect. Wheeling off balance, off everything. Foul in sportsman like foul court. And uh, Hessen goes down holding his um, knee. Does he get kneed in that knee? Not sure. It was on the blind side to us. Wheeling was never in control of the dribble. Yeah, gets kneed in it. All right, that's good though. Yeah, it's better than anything else we yeah, could have seen. Yeah, that's sore though. Oh no, absolutely sore, but uh, the pain goes away. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ultimately. You're right, you're right. You're right. I'll take the bang, the knee bang. Yeah, and he's uh, up and uh, good to see he's walking it off. Yeah, and there it is. Mark, you missed the Mexican wave. I know. I got it. Look, <laughs> look at this. Way. I'll post that on my Instagram. I made the Mexican wave, Mark. Not so much. But guess who makes the free throw? Kula May, and it'll be two plus possession. And with uh, a quarter and two minutes to go, we're standing already on 75. <laughs> And Great Britain yet to break 50. And Estonia, and, and you called this, that their, their work rate would be just far too much for Great Britain, and they're relentless. And it's, you know, it's a rest day. They've got one day that they may end up with a do-or-die game for qualification. Yeah. And you know they're going to work hard for that. The lean away. And Offensive. I was going to say, there has to be something offensive as people were jumping over the back of everybody, but the activity on the glass is just, you know. Incredible, but oh, that just... actually could work out great for Estonia, uh, that they have a day off tomorrow. That gives them an extra uh, day to prepare, put their scout in, get rest, and get ready for um, Greece. Greece is the next game after this, so they'll also have... But they have to win it, and even then, it might not be enough. I know, but... I know. We can dream, we can dream. Don't be such a... So we have old a, man. A, te on. a technical foul uh, called on that one. I'm gunning for uh, the Estonians as uh, Dan hits the first free throw. I think I'm going to go for the right. underdogs. It's a loose ball foul, so Clark's just shooting the, the team foul shot. So it was no technical. I really think there's some Great Britain fans who will be finding this game quite um, difficult, shall we say. Clark goes two for two from the line. And Great Britain tick it over to 49. Still trail by 26 points with 145 remaining. Kuname gets away with a little walk as he gathered. Inside, outside. Kuname now with 10 on the shot. Still calling the option. Tice behind the back now. Nice. Kitsing in the corner. Little Estonian showtime now as uh, Weedle in transition. Skips to the lane for two. Well, that's back-to-back -back baskets again for Great Britain. You would hope now they would look hard to get a stop. They chow by 24 points, get in under 20 before the end of the third. Kulamai drops it inside. Tice is stripped by Anderson. Good hands. And Great Britain have a chance to eat further into the lead. Weetle will take the ball screen. But can't then he's gonna put it on the floor, feel some contact, we'll go to the free throw line. And you can't the players like Weetle who are being asked to step up and play at the point, you've got yeah. to give him credit. And Tremendous credit. I think he's had an outstanding game today, finding his way to the basket, great drives. Doesn't shoot the ball very well at a high clip, but he's doing the things that are successful for him and he's made his way to the line. 
Josa picks up uh, Josa picks up his full foul. I don't think they'll worry about. Uh, they're going to take him out though. Drell's coming back, and they're very, very uh, interchangeable on the perimeter. They've got very much lots of like for likes in those three, you know, one, two, three slots. Kitsing Vene and uh, Kotsar give them the difference. Yeah, you're right about that actually. And Tice, Tice was loves his role here. Oh, and Tice, his role is work hard, and he did it again. Wasn't there was no palms up? I've turned it over straight back, and Great Britain turn it over again. Drown from the three point yep. line yep. in rhythm just fills it up, and that three point is overflowing for him. And he's so good at that when he sets his feet, he comes off, he's got space. Drell with 18 points now. Anderson down the lane, drops it to Clark, who misses the dunk. That about sums up Great Britain, I think. Good ball movement, Clark has the opportunity to throw the ball down. Well, his face <laughs> says, says it, it all. all. And the Estonian cheerleaders are on the floor as the confirmation of a 78 to 53 margin for Estonia. Well, I'm glad the crowd's here to keep the energy high as we see uh, the three point line, three from 16 from Great Britain, not going well. The free throw line for Estonia, very, very well. 93% finding their way there when they pushed Great Britain over the line in the foul. Third quarter highlights will be all Estonia. I felt like they came out at halftime ready, focused, knew exactly what they wanted, and Vene was on the end of most of that offensive uh, push. The baby likes it. I think the baby likes the fun. Okay. <laughs> and the highlights for Great Britain, too few, too few and too far between, but I, I, and we could have... Uh, Literally recorded our first quarter comments, our pre-game comments about what we were going to see with Estonia and just replayed them after every quarter because their ball movement is exceptional. Their ability to shoot the three when they work to get the open look. Yep. Everyone gives it up. While, while Great Britain, to an extent, trying to create on the dribble a lot without sharing the ball. But as much as anything else, it's just the energy and the level and the relentless nature of what... Uh, Estonia is doing that has led them to this uh, impressive performance. Carl Wheaton has a double double for Great Britain, 10 and 10. Monkford's in, Big, uh, Bigby Williams checks back in or checks in for the first time. I uh, haven't seen this lineup on the floor for Great Britain, I don't think, in any game. Monkford with uh, Whelan and Anderson and Weedle drops it inside. Bigby Williams shakes, tries to step through. I'm a little bit frustrated. He gets back in the game. That's what he should have done anyway. Tremendous work rate by Estonia. That's what you have to match. Wheatland, sorry, Wheatland steps back for the three and hits. See, that's not Wheatland's game in my opinion. No, not at and all. This is a smart play by uh, Big B Williams to just stay with the play as Jarrell was... Uh, not concentrating, but for me, Weetle is good driving at the basket, coming off of screens, extra possessions, um, but he's played a lot of minutes, so he will find some time on the bench. Luke Nelson checks in. Lisa flares off the screen, flares off it hard, then takes the ball screen, gets a little separation to go underneath, but he doesn't put it up early. Goes the other way, needs a pass. Nelson gets a piece. Three on the clock. And double dribble called. Yep. <laughs> Toilet, Coach Toyota has to take a sit down on that one. Not happy at all. The turnover is not something he wanted to see. Here's Nelson. 78 to 53, nine minutes just under. 
remain in the fourth and just watch and enjoy this Estonian team performance. Nelson goes up and is pinned on the backboard. Bigby Williams comes down with a rebound. No set, no reset on the clock. And Bigby Williams puts it on the floor. And the ball comes off Estonia. If Bigby Williams is going to spend all that time and look at this pin, smacks it on the backboard. If Bigby Williams is going to take all that time posting up and look for your shot, you know? But anyway, Drell with the defensive stop and Great Britain with 4.5. What do they get? And they had to get, they had to do that. Man, that's a quick point seven, that is. 3.8 now. Someone's got to set a screen. Mockford. Well, the inbound was open. Nelson had to put it up because the shot clock was running down. Here come Estonia again, and here come all Estonia again. All five in transition. The skip pass, rest is wide open, pops it out. Tice. Who won't, it's not his job to shoot the ball on this team, so he does. He does it. Turns it over though, and a chance for Nelson to lead the break. Anderson will hand it off. Whelan can't get the three to go. Drell spins back, needs a pass. He's going to step out. Just slip that uh, high foot, hit the baseline. Messy start to the fall for both teams. Yeah, let me see if Dre was annoyed that his foot went out of bounds, and it does. Yeah. So, referees all over it. Estonia with 15 turnovers, Great Britain with 12, which is uh, reasonable for them. 15 is around where Estonia have been. Slightly more. Drell's going to sit. Coach wants to teach again, and he's doing a really nice job with this group. Here's Nelson. They take away the handoff. Williams has it. And here they need some movement, Great Britain. They watch Big B Williams, which is not a good shot yet again, but they all stand, watch the show, have some cuts, make some movements, give uh, him options. They're just going one-on-one. -on -one. That's not where they're good at. No. It's in. And Estonia and come up. Tice is uh, 208, and I think that's an exaggeration. 23. Just outworks everyone on the glass. He can't handle the little knockdown pass. Yeah, Kitsing just rolled through Ben Mockford. Olusini, Gabe Olusini back in the game. Nelson puts it on the floor, gets to the ring, can't get it to drop. Olaseni clears up the mess. Nice look, but they just carry on working. Lashton gets the steal, gets out on the break. Beautiful trial by Kitsing. Lovely move. And that's it. That's typical Estonian basketball. Work rate up to nearly 100 on the defense, and then they run right back on offense and put it to the Great Britain boys. Nelson. Stops, fires up the three, can't get it to go. And it's getting a little ugly for Great Britain, this. Because Estonia aren't going to stop Nelson Fowles. No, they're not. Six minutes and uh, 25 seconds, Estonia is going to play this same way until the buzzer goes. So Great Britain have one more timeout left. And it's almost like take it and say, like, this is all about pride now. We're not going to lay down and die, or at least something. I don't know why the timeout is being saved by them. If the roles were reversed, I'm sure Estonia would be in that place. Here's Nelson. He steps out. And... Uh, Lotea, Lotea, yeah, yeah, yeah. Comes back in. This is his first minutes of the game. They mistimed that. 
Everyone runs away from Gabe Olasini. Ben Mockford just about realises it. Lortel again, he gets it back to Mockford. Takes the Olasini ball screen. Stops and pops over Kotsa. And that's what you know, Kotsa and it's what Olasini did and Clark did for Great Britain at times. When you're bigger, you can give a little gap and still challenge the shot. Kotsa was so good at challenging Mockford's three. Yorsa goes upstairs for Kotsa. Yep. Beautiful play. You see why I'm a fan and Great Britain finally take their time out and they need it right now because Kotsa goes upstairs and makes his way and is living his work rate. I wish uh, Great Britain would take a leaf out of his book because, man, he works hard on both ends of the floor, gets rewarded, and uh, time out, Great Britain. I'm subbing people in and out. I just want to play the right way. All right, that's it. I just want to play the right way. All right, just from here on out, just go swing. All right, get the ball moving side to side. Play the right way. Make your teammates better. Switch on defense. All right, and play the right way to finish this out. Let's go, man. Let's go. Well, a 29-17 and a 4-0 and a two-quarter scores in this. And Estonia have gone plus 20 points on every quarter and uh, and have done it with the tempo of their play. 82 to 53, they lead this by 44 to go. And Katsar, as you get the replay, is just one of those guys who seems to thrive I love on him. the play and I love him. thrives on it. If coach took him out there, he wouldn't mind if it was if he was 30 up or 30, no. 30 down. He'll be a disappointed about leaving the floor. For all the right reasons as well. Yeah, he's really been a treat this tournament. Whelan comes off the string, they switch it. No advantage. Seven on the clock. They would have advantage. And they're gonna count the sh shot or not. They're going to call the foul, I think, on Olasini. There you go, that's why. And they, they say that uh, no points in five minutes, 24 seconds for Great Britain. Oh, I love that stat, thank you. That's just a credit to the relentlessness of Estonia. Kitsing in the bit. corner, yeah. knocks it down. Kitsing's got his little initial in the four corners of the court. When he gets there, it's only one thing, it's going up. Well, Coach Nate in the Great Britain timeout said, let's play our way. Well, I'll tell you what, Estonia is playing their way. Both uh, ends, defense tough, offense even tougher. Whelan stops and pops. And even at this stage, chase him off the three-point line, three line, make him take the pull up. And unfortunately, and uh, Raesta fumbles it. Ryester's also at Basconia, so there'll be the two Estonian teammates in the Spanish giant of a club. Carl Wietel. Terry Gonlay to the far side of the ring. Olaseni cleans up the mess. No reset, didn't yep. hit anything. Wiedel has to stop and pop the two. And for those Great Britain fans that we saw, this is like one of those bad dream moments. They make the trip to Milan and they didn't think they'd be seeing this, but they weren't aware of how good this Estonian team can be. Vene for three, doesn't get it to drop, and Wietzel comes down with the rebound. Foul called, and they're still sticking to what they're supposed to do. We're supposed to stop the break. If we have to foul, we will. And that's uh, exactly what they just did. Clark comes back for Olasini. And the Estonian fans, we can credit them too now. Wow, they've been excellent. Their team hasn't won, but they've showed up every day with the same energy and the same intensity. And uh, why not? You play hard, 
for your country. Team and uh, team and fans on the same page. Just great to see. They feed off each other. Here's Weetle. Clark slips. They go upstairs for him. Just about survives with the basketball. Anderson gets it back to Clark. Just got him bound. And cuts off fouls, Clark, as he spins to the baseline. Good call by the official. Just bump the, bump the spin. Nice. Whelan takes the long nice. two, makes really nice. drops it. <laughs> nice little step back by Whelan. Patrick Whelan has earned more and more minutes uh, in this tournament. Well deserved. Nice move. Look inside again, they turn it down. That's their first point after six minutes and 55 seconds. Wow, that's a stat. Kula May in the lane has it knocked away, but they recover it. SD has to put it up. Clark with the rebound. Great Britain gets it to Wheatle. Clark at the trowel. Gets it up. Patrick Whelan. Wheatle off the glass for two is good. And Wheatle literally had to make something up there. Good for him. Gets an offensive drive. Not a lot of movement going on for Great Britain's offense. Pretty easy for Estonia to guard, but here, nice big block from uh, Anderson there. Got beat, but sticks with it, stays with it. And that's fantastic defense by him. Look at this. Comes down, volleyball swats it. So, Jarrell is back. The only, uh, the only Estonian not to see action is Sten Sok. Well, Drell is back and Drell scores. Yep, you know Drell's back. Just because he cut hard. 30 point game. Clark outside, swings it, wheel and feet set for three, gets it. Nice. Patrick Whelan. Well, it's a little late, but uh, Great Britain in the passing lanes at the moment. They drop it inside to Kutsar down the middle. It's all too easy on the roll, though. And the Estonians love it. Beautiful little drive and cut from the Estonians. Anderson for two off the Clark assist. And again, coach is not loving it, so they're going to no. sub people, get, get Kotsar a rest, and Tice comes back in. I'm going to clap for Kotsar. Another super performance by the big man. Yeah. And he does the right thing as well. He just applauds the fans who respond. How you'd expect him to. Yeah, 15 points from him. And uh, eight total rebounds. Good day at the office. Drell from deep. Weetle. Weedman lays blocked. And again, Estonia commits to the break. Kitsing moves it on. Kulamay says, we don't have an advantage, just bring it out. Kulamay likes the matchup. Skips it though, gets it back. Beautiful move. Clark in here, nice pass to Kitsing for three. That is lovely Estonian basketball. Wow, they took their time, really picked apart. The Great Britain defense got exactly what they wanted. Beautiful. I like that. 30 point game. Estonia. After all the disappointment of the last two games, Whelan mishandles it again. Another turnover. And the fans are on their feet saying, Este, Estonia. 
deserve this win, Mark. Last 30 seconds of what's been just a great performance, and they've not lowered their level at all. Off the glass for two, Kulamai. Great Britain will get the last shot. Do they want to shoot it? Are they going to walk it off? They're going to walk it off. Estonia, after two heartbreak losses, it's still a long shot, but qualification is a possibility. And that is a great visit, great performance by them. The crowd have loved it. They outworked Great Britain from minute one to minute 40. And they get a significant win here in Eurobasket. They get the final score, Estonia with a 94 to 62 win. They lead it from the first to the last, and they were just, as they've been for the last two days, phenomenal. And I told you, I told you at the beginning of the game that I fought Estonia, as we see the uh, stats there, shooting 61% from the two, getting to the free throw line, 14 from 15. They were excellent. They're beating uh, Great Britain on the boards, 41 to 28 turnovers. 18 uh, more than uh, Great Britain. Drell, 20 big points. He's the man of the match, in my opinion. Everyone showed up as they uh, clapped to their crowd, and that was well deserved. Excellent, fantastic, sensational basketball from the Estonians. They have been fantastic, and they finally got their win that they deserve. And it's so apt that the first play of the fourth second half that you see is a defensive play, and it's an effort play, and it's Drell, who you quite rightly say has been phenomenal. It's not about, they all shoot the ball well, but the defensive effort is where they start and finish, where they get their energy from. Kiersa again had that nice game at the point. You know, for Kitsing at 31, you know, it's a great opportunity for him. You know, at the, at the wrong end, at the end of his career as such, still got a number of years to go. Yeah. This Estonia team develops and develops and keeps developing. And pretty much everyone who touched the floor for Estonia scored. Everyone who touched the floor from Estonia has got rebounds, did hustle plays. They are very good. They come in, they know their roles, they stay in their lane, and also their work effort. You can't compete with that. And that's why they've been in the game. Sadly, they obviously lost uh, against Croatia and Ukraine by one and three points. But today, this afternoon, they knew what time it was. They knew they had business, and they definitely finished the job. Well, their first win in this Eurobasket. And Great Britain were truly dominated from the first quarter to the last quarter. The combination with Kulamai and uh, Kirsha and Resty, Drell, those guys on the perimeter, Vene in between and then Kutzer on the inside. They, ba they balance, they understand their roles, they don't do anything they can't do. What they do do, they do it very, very, very well. It's been a tremendous team performance for the last three games and they get the win at last. The win that they probably deserved in the two previous games, but they get it over Great Britain. Yeah, and like we've spoke about, this is a young team. A lot of 21-year-olds, 22-year-olds, Drell. There's a lot of uh, talent in this team, and we'll see them for the next uh, couple Euro um, baskets. And this is where you learn, because I remember, I I'm a Great Britain national, and I remember getting our butts kicked at the beginning when I played in Poland in my f ev first ever. And you have to come back and be resilient. Well, there's the 94-62 confirmation. Greece and Ukraine up next. Neither team has lost the game. That's a great one to look forward to. And then tonight, Italy and Croatia in a game that has real ramifications for which places they finish in. And now is the current table. Estonia with the one and three record. Great Britain are now unable to qualify at 0 and 4. And Italy in a precarious position at the moment but they only have Great Britain to play after